What's up guys, it's your boy Nathaniel Messiah. So, in today's video, we're gonna be going through how to prepare for mock exams, because this week I've been having my mock exams and they've been going all right, you know, they've been going pretty well. And I thought I'd just do a video, you know, catch up with you guys, maybe give you guys a few tips at the same time. I'm going to catch up with you guys in a little bit though, because I'm not running late, but again, if I keep talking to you, I'm gonna be late. So, I'll see you guys in a bit, three, two, yep, cool. What's up guys, so, before we get into the video, I've got a quick announcement to make. Legend London have been nice enough to send me these jeans and when it comes to Legend London they've literally got the best muscle fit jeans in the game like I've heard of them from before from various other guys and they've said you know how good the jeans fit because if you're a guy with a little bit more muscle on your legs it's gonna be hard to find jeans because if you want the leg to be the right size a lot of time the waist is a bit too big and if you want the waist to be you know small enough because you've got quite a tapered waist the legs are too small so it's quite hard to find jeans you know if you've got a little bit more muscle on your legs but with Legend London, that is not an issue because of the stretch material of the jeans. The jeans are literally so comfortable and so stretchy. So pretty much no matter what your leg size is, they're going to fit. So I've got it here in this kind of lighter blue color. Just do a quick spin around. You guys can see what I'm saying. I've also got it in a darker blue. So yeah, again, if you're looking for a little bit of a darker color, this is what it's saying. Again, it's very, very nice. And then we've also got some jeans in black so yeah this one's a little bit more ripped a little more distressed you know it has a bit of a biker feel and again the fit is the same story so if you guys like the look of any of these jeans and you also want to support me they're actually having a black friday sale right now where you can save money off the jeans so at checkout make sure you use my code nathaniel literally just nathaniel in all caps n-a-t-h-a-n-i-e-l click the first link in my description which will take you to their site have a browse around look around support me support the brand get some sick jeans for yourself and yeah all right guys so i promise this is the last black friday related thing on my channel for this video no more but if you didn't already know next week the gyms in the uk are opening december the 2nd wednesday gyms are opening so in honor of that and then also in honor of black friday i'm going to be doing 50 percent off all of the training plans on my website. This is literally the biggest sale I've ever done on my training plan. So you do not want to miss this. It's gonna go live on Sunday at 5 p.m. and it's gonna last for 24 hours. So Sunday, 5 p.m. Pick up one of my training plans on my website. It's gonna do you so well for when you go back to the gyms because you're gonna have you're, because you're going to have a plan and you're going to have something to execute that's going to get you to your goal. So whether your goals are muscle gain, strength gain, fat loss, whatever it is, whether you're training at home, at the gym, obviously most of them are for the gym, so it's good for going back. But yeah, literally whatever your goals are, you'll find something for you. Tons of people have made crazy transformations. I always love when you guys send me your transformations because it really feels like, you know, I'm doing something. But yeah, Sunday, 5pm, do not miss it. Alright guys, so I'm done with my first lesson now. Uh, I, yeah, I have biology this morning uh, and I've got my history exam at 2 o'clock. So plan now is to quickly uh, head to the car wash. I need to get my car wash. I tried to go to the car wash the other day. The car wash was closed because obviously in England we're on lockdown right now. So quite a few um, places are closed but um, I've managed to find a car wash that is open. So I'm going to go there soon. Got a quick something to eat though. I forgot I didn't even have breakfast today. It's weird because I'm not hungry. Like, if I usually forget to have breakfast, my stomach will be doing a madness in class. But you, today it was actually fine. Like I didn't feel hungry at all. So either way, uh, I just went to the cafe there. Got a quick sandwich with... Oh, I forgot to ask him for ketchup. Quick sandwich with basically egg, hash brown, beef sausage. How am I going to show you? Uh, you can kind of, you can kind of see what's, yeah, that's, that's that. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to eat this, then I'm going to go to the car wash, and uh, yeah, so, and then after that I'm going to go home, revise a bit more for my history exam, and uh, hopefully do well in that exam. So, and then we can talk later about some of the things that, you know, tips that I have and things like that. I've been almost a bit more hesitant giving school tips and things like that, because, you know, than I was before, because right, like, I don't know, in the last year, school, my focus on school hasn't been as much because of all of the 
of opportunities that have come. Like, I've still been focusing on school. I've still been trying my best to, like, get good grades and stuff. But, you know, I can't compare it to, like, back when I was in GCSEs and school was the only thing I was doing. Whereas now, you know, I'm, I've, I've got a lot of different things going on, which I, which, and I wouldn't have it any other way. So that is, that is that. That is what we're having to deal with. But, you know, um, we're still going to make it work. I'm still going to try my best to get the best grades I can. Uh, go to uni and, uh, yeah, so that is that. Uh, I'm gonna catch up with you guys probably when we get to the car wash. I'm just gonna sit here, eat this, and uh, yeah. Alright, guys, I'm home now. Got my car washed, everything all good. So, I've got like an hour and a half, hour, 45 minutes before my next exam. Uh, I've got history, so I'm gonna use that time to revise history. Probably gonna have a quick time to eat as well. Maybe just a little protein shake because I'm not gonna be able to eat again until like, I don't know, four o'clock or something like that. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're saying now. Gonna um, just look over my notes. Um, the exam we're doing today uh, isn't covering too much because we haven't done that much on the subject that on the topic that we're doing the exam on. So uh, luckily, I don't have too much to advice. So it should hopefully go well. And uh, yeah, a couple of days ago, I gave myself a little home trim. It's one of those ones where you just give yourself a one level. It's not really like tidy right now because I haven't brushed it, but. It's one of those quarantine trims where, you know, you just need the hair off, like, at this point, I just don't want to look homeless, so yeah. Cleaned it all off to one level and, uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna go revise now. See you guys, I wanna see you guys. So I think one of the main things for mock exams is understanding that it's gonna get easier. Because a lot of times with mocks, the exams which you would have spaced over, say, a month, get condensed into a week or two weeks. And this makes it, you know, much more intense and gives you less time to revise for each subject. So understanding that when it comes to real exams, this is not going to be the case and you're going to have a bit more time. It's going to be probably a bit more reassuring because, you know, mocks can get a lot of people overwhelmed because of the sheer amount of work they'll have to do to feel like they're prepared for their exams. But... When it comes to the real exams, this will not be the case, so you don't have to stress about it too much. I think this is actually really important. Another big tip I'd give is to focus pretty much solely on your weak points, because when it comes to mocks, you're going to find it extremely hard to cover your whole course uh, in the time allotted for you to revise. So if this isn't possible, if you can't go over absolutely everything you've learned, then just go over the things which you're not as certain on, because there's no point going through the things which you've got 100%, because you'll do well in those bits in the exam, so you're pretty much wasting your time by going over them. And a lot of people like to do this because it's the part of the, um, the course which they enjoy, but you can't always just do the things that you enjoy. You're often going to have to do the things which you don't enjoy, and the reason why you don't enjoy them is because you find them harder, but they're only going to get easier if you actually, you know, go at them and like try to get better at them. So yeah, I'd say focus on the bits of your course that you find more difficult. All right, guys, so I'm just continuing with my revision, but I'm going to have a quick protein brownie. I don't really have time for a proper meal, and this is just something to keep me until, you know, after my exam. So in this, you've got 23 grams of protein, only 4 grams of sugar. Um, so yeah, I'd really recommend these protein brownies if you want like a decently healthy snack with good macros. You use my code, make 35 for 35% off. So uh, yeah. Alright guys, so right now, quick snack, having some Weetabix, um, I would like, I was gonna have it, you know, just normal with some milk and some bananas, some honey and stuff, but it's kind of cold now, so I'm having it like this, it's like, I don't know, similar to porridge in the consistency, uh, and if you have a problem with me having Weetabix like this, then we can't be friends. Anywho, also having clear whey, it goes properly clear in like, I don't know, 20 seconds, but it's just because I've just shaken it, probably shake it just like... One more time and like after after it goes down it's gonna be clear. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this, drink that and uh chill for a little bit, get straight back to revision and uh yeah, then we're gonna work up. So yeah. One more tip I'd give in terms of mock exams, this is a bit more specific to people who, you know, like me, do another activity. So for me, this is kind of like bodyboarding, powerlifting. Not as much now because obviously the gyms were closed, but I still like to train and things like that. Use it as an opportunity to either get some rest or deload or maybe just take a little step back from that because when I actually add it up, all the time that it will take me to like say go to the gym, train, get back, you know, eat my meal, get in the zone before I go to the gym, this adds up to, you know, a, a decent amount of time. It, it probably adds up to about four hours if, I, if I'm really honest, right? And when you're in mocks and you're trying to focus solely on getting the best grade you can, you may not have time for this as many times as you would do, you know, otherwise. So taking a step back on those things can be beneficial and it can also give you a little rest because we all need to rest sometimes. I know a lot of us that love the gym are almost chronically over 
overworked where we're always doing a bit too much we're always sore always aching so giving your body a little break in order for you to you know focus more on your exams is always going to be a good thing and yeah i'd rec really recommend that all right guys so quickly pausing my revision to take my pre-workout so yeah the pre-workout i'm taking is my proteins the pre-workout uh, i'm taking this one as opposed to the pre-workout pro as because it's not as strong as that one that one is proper strong this one isn't as strong and it's like 7 p.m right now and i'm doing a home workout so i don't need all of that right now so this should do me just fine and i do want to get some sleep tonight so i'm gonna take about a scoop of this this my protein gallon hydrator comes in incredibly handy because you literally do not have to worry about water for like the whole day like it's pretty heavy right you carry that with you literally like all day that is your water pretty much for the day like, like, like a gallon a day is, is good for most people and yeah you're sorted you don't have to buy water you don't have to do any of that so yeah me being responsible about my protein aside like i think that's a really good thing to have like just making sure you're on it with your water um and yeah i'm probably gonna revise for just about as long as it takes for this stuff to start kicking in and then i'm gonna go and yeah hit a home workout a full body workout usually with full body workouts i would start with the um the biggest muscle group and work my way down just because you want to use most of your energy for you for your biggest muscle groups so for example you know starting with your legs or if you're doing upper body workout start moving on your back or your chest and stuff like that um because you want to put most of your energy into your compound lifts because that's really what elicits growth but in the home workouts i've been doing i've actually been um starting with my upper body stuff first because since i'm at home i know i'm not I'm not looking for huge amounts of leg hypertrophy anyway because what I've got at home is probably not going to grow my legs a whole load. It's good enough that I'd say to probably hold them where they are, but it's probably not going to be good enough to make, you know, huge leaps and bounds in my, in my leg um, development. So, in that case, there's no point in me absolutely destroying myself for the rest of the workout for a leg workout that isn't even completely optimal. So yeah, I typically actually start with either chest or back. And then I'll go to legs and then I'll go back to, um, you know, some upper body stuff. And pretty much just one, one, um, one muscle group per exercise or so. Um, just keeping it, you know, nice and moderate. I'm also using it as a bit of a time to give my body a little break. Um, my body was probably pretty banged up from that 300 kg deadlift. It, even though, like, I didn't feel the doms from that really at all. Like, two, three days afterwards, I felt absolutely fine. Like, fully recovered. I remember when I did my 260 deadlift at 16. Um, I felt like I got hit by a bus for like a week um, but this one the 300 I was, I was literally fine I was like eh, yeah like ready to go but regardless of that it is it is gonna take a big toll on your body so it's, it's good to have a bit of rest I'm gonna use these four weeks in like indirectly I'm using it to rest because you know obviously gyms are closed and I've got like mock exams and stuff so I can't even be you know training the amount that I used to so enough of me yapping okay the next thing you're going to see is me downstairs training and uh, yeah three two one
Our souls begin to intertwine Your heart of gold so pure, divine And I Lost myself within the fire Breaking free from my desire A heart of gold forged to inspire It's starfire It's Starfire 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 It's Starfire 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 It's Stop.